The Georgia Bulldogs came into today's game only a half a game behind South Carolina for the top spot in the SEC Eastern Division, and they come from five back to beat Kentucky 6-5 to five on a sacrifice fly in the bottom of the ninth inning by David Coffey. And that was the difference today. Jazz Lytle had a big afternoon as well for the Georgia Bulldogs as they improved to 22 and 14, 10 and 7 in league play. Our last update had South Carolina over LSU in Columbia this afternoon after South Carolina was defeated last night. Last score is 4-1 in the bottom of the sixth. South Carolina on top of LSU. Well, joining us down by the Third base dugout is Chaz Lytle, and Chaz, I got to tell you, what another fine performance. What is it about Foley Field and the Georgia Bulldogs finding ways to win? Well, you know, I just love it here, and uh, coaching staff is great, and uh, we just did everything we needed to to win today. Is it all about attitude at this point? Do you guys feel like, regardless of the situation, you were down 5 nothing today. Did, did this team ever feel like uh, this wasn't going to be your day? Well, I'll tell you the truth, no. Uh, we have this thing in our dugout called the rope, and everybody uh, touches it before we go take the offense and defense, and uh, everybody's a part of it. You know, Ned Ned came in and uh, did a great job. He, uh, they, they put him on, and we just came out there and did what we had to do to win. Jazz, you came out of Daytona Beach Community College, uh, and, and you're having such a terrific year in your first year here at the University of Georgia. You had three hits last night, three hits here today. Uh, do you feel like now that you've become acclimated to the Southeastern Conference pitching that this is going to continue to be the way it is for you? Well, yes, sir, uh, I do because I work very hard and our coaching staff is great. Coach Eckstein's tremendous, and uh, I feel like with, with everything that our coaching staff gives us, you know, I feel like I can, I'm prepared for everything. Bring them on. <laughs> well, it's your 13th game with uh, at least three hits, your 21st multi-hit game. I mean, things are going well for you. But as a team, so much uh, last year was made of this team making a run to the SEC championship. I know you had a tough weekend against LSU last weekend. Does this team feel a, a repeat? You, you got enough depth, you got enough quality in the staff and on the bench to, to make another run at an SEC title? Oh, yes, sir. No doubt. Uh, we got the pitching. We got everything we need to do. We just got to stick with the grind every day. It's a long season, and I think we can. Uh, I think we can do it. Well, you've got some really tough games coming up too. Some tough SEC series. Well, thank you. And uh, whenever we're not playing, we're watching this. Uh, everybody else playing on TV, and uh, we love you guys. And <laughs> we're going to try to take it all the way. See, you're a man that's just trying to get some good PR. I like your style, Chaz. Well, thanks for joining us. Well, good you. win today. Thank you, Chaz Lytle. Three hits today, helping the Georgia Bulldogs win six to five over the Kentucky Wildcats. Kentucky falls to. 14 and 24, 3 and 14 overall. 